Hi, my name is Rob and in this video we're going to be looking at functional skills maths at level 1 and we're going to be looking at percentage increase. This is the percentage sign. Percentage means out of 100. Okay, so the, and the best way to find a percentage of a number, the first thing to do is to find 1%. And to find 1% of a number, you need to divide by 100. We've been asked to find 10% of 150 pounds. So we key in the big number first, 150. Remember, we want to find 1%, so we divide by 100. This is the divide button. Divide by 100, and that is equal to 1.5. So we know that 1% 1 of 150 pounds is equal to 1.5, 1 pounds 50. Okay, but we want to find 10%, so we multiply using the times button. We multiply the x, so times that by the 10, and that is equal to 15. So 10% of 150 is equal to 15 pounds. So we take the original amount, the 150, minus off 10%, which is 15 pounds, and that is equal to, the answer is 135 pounds. So 150 pounds with a 10% reduction is equal to 135 pounds. Another quick way to do it would be, depending on the type of calculator you have, is 150 minus 10, press the percent button, equals 135 pounds. Okay, so in the calculator, it's 12.99, and again, we're going to divide by 100, the divide button, divide by 100 to find 1%, and 1% of that number is 0 0.1299. Now, remember what I said about the rounding? We're looking here at the third digit, which is a 9, which is higher than a 5, so the 2 changes to a 3, so that then becomes 0 0.13. So 1% of £12.99 is 0 0.13 of a pound, which is the same as 13 pence. Okay, so I'm going to times so I'm going to times that by the 10, 0 0.13 times 10, and that is equal to 1.3 of a pound. So 10% of 12 pounds 99 rounded up is 1.30 of a pound, or 130 pennies. But it's expressed as a pound is 1 pound 30. So the answer to the question of 12 pounds 99 minus the 10%, which we know is £1.30, is equal to £11.69. Pounds, pounds, 11 pounds and 69 pence. Okay, so we're now going to add on £750. We're going to add on 20% to that using the calculator. So, 750. Uh, I'm going to need to find 1%, so we're going to divide by 100 and that equals 7.5 pounds so 7 pounds 50 so 1% equals 7 pounds 50 okay so let's find 10% first so 7.50 times 10 equals 75 pounds so 10% of 750 is 75 pounds. So we can add on another 75, which will equal the 20% equals 150 pounds. So 20% of 750 pounds is 150 pounds. Or we can just get the 75 pounds and add on another 75 pounds which will give us the 150 pounds. Okay, so we now take the 750 pounds and we add on 150 pounds and the answer is 900 pounds. So 750 pounds adding on the 20% equals 900 pounds. Or the other way to do it, depending on which calculator you have, you can put in the 750.00 plus 20 and press the percent button and then equals, which will take you right to the 900 pounds and that's the answer. Calculator or your mobile phone calculator, we're going to add 20% uh, onto the 15 pounds. So here we go, so it's 15.00 and then remember we need to find 1% so we're going to divide by 100 and that equals what point? 
one five a pound, zero point one five a pound, which is fifteen pence. But you write it as a pound is zero point one five. Okay, so if one percent is fifteen pence, zero point one five a pound. We're going to multiply that by ten. I'll just cancel that. So it's zero point one five of a pound, fifteen pence. We're going to times it, multiply it by ten, and that equals one point five a pound, one pounds fifty. Okay, so if ten percent is one pound fifty, we can take the one pound fifty and then times it by two, which will give us the twenty percent. So the twenty percent of fifteen pounds now equals three whole pounds, three point zero zero pounds. But I said another way to do that is if if ten percent equals the one point five oh one pounds fifty, we can just add that on again. If you add it on again, it's the same as multiplying it by 2. So 1.50 plus 1.50, which is £1.50 plus £1.50, equals £3. So, going back to the original amount, the £15, plus add on the £3, which is the VAT, the 20%, giving us a new total of £18. So the answer to £15 plus 20% is £18. Before this video ends, I just want to tell you about what is, what is called check calculations, check calcs. In a functional skills level 1 maths exam, you normally get three questions. And at the end of each question, you'll be asked to perform a check calculation, which is worth two marks, two points. So for three questions, that's six points. That could be the difference between passing and failing a maths exam. So let's just look at a check calculation. First of all, to tell you that the opposite of plus is minus, and the opposite of multiply times is divide. Let me explain what I mean by that. If 7 plus 3 equals 10, and the opposite of plus, the opposite of plus is a minus, we take the answer, which in this case is 10, and if we minus off the 7, that is you perform the check calculation. This confirms that the above uh, calculation is correct, and you'll get two points for that. If we look at 2 times 4 equals 8, we take the answer, the 8, divided by the 2, there you go, I should perform another check count. So don't forget, the opposite of plus is minus, and the opposite of times is, is divide.